versus Jeff Hosnack, senior from CBCA. 152 pounds, Casey Sparkman, Maslin Perry, green ankle band, white singlet, Jeff Hosnacki. In the red ankle band and a single leg right away after he pounds the head. It was like youth wrestling there. I like it. Hojnaki. It's a pretty sweet single he's got on Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy. If you've ever been to Walsh, it's directly across the street. Sparkman, pretty athletic. Did the splits there, and Hajanaki not able to do anything with it. And as always, talk, give you a little team update. Clovis with 283, Perry with 273. Both Clovis and Perry with a guy on the mat right now. Sparkman, two with the go behind. Two and one there. Hajanaki said, hey, look, no hands. But uh, the official was not satisfied with that and gave Sparkman the two for that go behind. 2 1, Casey Sparkman, Maslin Perry. And sitting in his chair is Drew Lashaway and Patrick McLemore. A rematch of the 2008 Mid American Conference Championship at 141 pounds, won by Pat McLemore. And there is a fireman's carry, and that is just nasty. Oh, Sparkman, you went youth style on him. That was nice. He said, hey, I'm going to come youth kid wrestling on you. And he did not get any awarded any points for that. 2-1 still. Sparkman looks like he might be a cut above Hajnaki right now. When he just throws him down like that. But Hajnaki is definitely for real. Because he had the first nice real shot. So Sparkman's got flashes of greatness thus far. But he's up 2-1. Hodgnaki shoots in on him. And this official is all up in the camera's business. He might not want you guys to see this match. Twelve seconds left. There's a shot by Hodgnaki. There's a shot by Sparkman. Deep barnyard roll. And short time. Is he going to get it? Two at the buzzer. Sparkman 4-1 now. With a buzzer beater takedown there. This flip goes to Sparkman. He is going down to start the second period. He's up 4-1. to And... McNally Kincaid over there. That one's huge in the team race. Kincaid from Clovis. Down one nothing to McNally, and he looks hurt. Kincaid of Lake. So Clovis, California, coming to try and win a title here. Casey Sparkman looked tougher. Nails at the Ironman. A couple near upsets. He's checking out some of his stuff, and he runs to that double. And he's going to run out of real estate. Ojanaki gets to the edge. He's up 5-1 now. Sparkman definitely looks like he's got some, some horsepower, man. Ojanaki into him. They're going to run out of real estate. Off the restart. So Perry might be able to jump up there and close the gap on Clovis after this one, but what you got to understand about Clovis is they still have number one heavyweight in the country, Penn State recruit Nick Nettles, coming up. Sparkman getting his feet moving. Hojnaki. Got to find a takedown of his own. Once again, Sparkman's going to run out of real estate. 5-1. Hojanaki got to steal a takedown here in the next 54 seconds in a ride out. Otherwise, another Sparkman takedown might ice this thing. Might turn it into like a bonus type situation. Bonus points are huge right now if you're Maslin Perry. And you got to be urging your guy on. They're down by 10 team points here going into 152. 
Oh, nice swing single. Whoa, he disappeared on him. Sparkman. Hojnacki, Hojnacki. Got that closed wizard. Trying to limp arm out. He does that. And then he catches Hojnacki's down arm. He could have him in some trouble here. We're looking 7-1. 12 seconds remaining. Second period. Sparkman, driver's seat here, man. He's got to be thinking bonus points. He's going tilt. And not going to get it. He's not going to take down. Right now, Maslin Perry getting a boost. They got their fellow Ohio guy over there that was hooking him up who just got caught in a throw. And Natalie Kincaid's 3-2 over there. One escape, Hojnaki. Got to keep a close eye on this team race, folks. It is beyond heating up. It's in fuego. For those of you who don't habla the Espanol, that is, it's on fire. Hudsonak, he needs a five-pointer here. He needs to steal a takedown to a turn, something. Sparkman just keeps disappearing on him. He is quick and athletic. Keeps running to stuff. Does a nice job of not hitting his knees on stuff and running two holds. I like that. Not a lot of people can just run the holds. That means they don't have to do a knee over toe penetration. They can just run and double like someone. It's hard to do. There's a nice knee over toe penetration. I'm to a limp arm. Two takedown. Sparkman cuts him loose. 9-2. Nine, 9-3 nine, now with the escape. And obviously uh, Pat McLemore and... Lashaway are saying, hey, we need those, the bonus points. So take down right out here with 50 seconds, 56 seconds left would be a major for Sparkman. Is he going to go for that? Oh, man. And at the end of the match there, takedown for Kincaid. Tie match going into the third period now. Sparkman 11-3. Can he ride out here? He gets that takedown he needs. Is he going to get the ride out with 22 seconds left? He needs to get it. Hojnacki can uh, be a spoiler here and get that escape. And they're saying, no, we're going to go neutral. Lash away cut, says cut him loose. Sparkman does it. Now Sparkman needs another takedown in 22 seconds. Can he get it? He has to get it. And there it is. He does get it. Wow, that is confidence in your guy. Drew Lashley looks like a genius right now. 13 to 4. He can actually give the escape up. It'll still be a major. He can't give up a reversal though. 11 seconds left. Hudgenacki up right now. Hajnaki can be a spoiler here and get a takedown as uh, they get a boost. There's another takedown for Sparkman. And uh, I'll take Casey Sparkman on my squad. This guy is a senior from Maslin Perry, and he looks good. He beats Hajnaki of CVCA and another champ for the Perry Panthers as they close the gap on the Clovis Cougars.